Hello, my name is David Krakauer. I'm the president of the Santa Fe Institute, and I work on the evolution of intelligence on Earth. And today I'm going to talk about the multiple origins of life in complex time. Now, most people would say life evolved perhaps once, between 3.5 and 4 billion years ago. And the evidence of that evolution are things like fossilized microorganisms. And those organisms are presumed to possess certain key properties, autocatalysis, replication, metabolism, and the ability to adapt. And this is a chemical material theory for the origin of life. And I'm going to say there's another one that's quite distinct, that's based on information theory. And here's the argument. Origin of life is dominated by what we would call naturalist, reductionistic perspectives. That is, the ultimate understanding of why a system works is an analysis of the chemistry or most basic building blocks that make up the phenomenon of interest. There's another school called functionalists that say that those building blocks are necessary but not sufficient. What we really care about are their properties, and those properties can be realized in multiple different ways. And I'm going to make this argument very clear by showing you an analogous argument in the field of artificial intelligence. The idea here is that life emerges from an adaptive arrow of time, which is the reverse of the thermodynamic arrow of time that leads to increasing disorder. And the interesting thing about the adaptive arrow of time is it's multi-scale, rather like the physical arrow of time, meaning it can be observed at molecular levels all the way through to the scale of whole societies. And in that respect, it's not critically dependent on biology or chemistry. And the key to understanding the adaptive arrow of time is understanding the adaptive agent. And the agent is the key concept, or sometimes called the individual, in complex adaptive systems. And an agent can be a virus, the agent can even be a language. So here is the analogous debate in artificial intelligence. John Searle is a proponent of biological naturalism. His position is that the only system that can be intelligent is a biological one. And he said, my car and my adding machine understand nothing. They are not in that line of business. That is, you could never build a mechanical device with understanding because they're not made of neurons. In contrast, Alan Turing said, we are not interested in the fact that the brain has the consistency of cold porridge which was his somewhat sarcastic way of saying, the materials don't matter as much as we have assumed, because we can instantiate function in a range of very different materials. And this argument for intelligence generalizes to arguments about life. We don't necessarily need the chemistry that we have in existing living systems. There might be very different ways of achieving lifelike properties.